All right, so the new Icebox rework is here, and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to master Cypher on it. Before we get into the video, I wanted to mention that this is a really good map for Cypher on attack. It's probably his best one. So I really recommend that you guys stick around until the attack part of the video. Anyway, let's get into it. So the first thing that I wanna look at is pistol round setups. Now I have one main setup that I use for this map, and the buy for it is one tripwire, two cages, and light shield. To do the setup, toss your trip right above these spoons and forks in kitchen, so just like this, and then come over here to B tower, and you can actually jump through your cam out of here, so it lands like this. So throw that cam, and then for your cages, you can either save them to use during the round, or you can use one of your cages to throw a one-way pre-round. If you want to throw the one-way, line yourself up with this line in the wall, and then turn around, and look where this line here and the snow meet. So somewhere around here, then you can just jump through your cage, and that'll give you a nice one-way on anybody peeking from this area. They're not going to be able to see you at all. Here's their POV. Off of this setup, you could play either at Snowman or Tower, but I primarily play around Tower, so I'll use that as an example. With this, you have your trip to hold anyone trying to push up into Kitchen, and you have your cam, which sees basically all of sight, as well as anyone trying to sneak under tube. When it comes to playing off of this setup, you can start the round off by sitting on your cam, and when your opponents start walking out of main, you can kind of swing this angle like this and try to get a kill. You could pop your one way and put them in that, or you could even swing from this side like this. Now we're going to take a look at full setups. This first one that I want to show you is my favorite one on Icebox, and it's basically just an extension of the pistol round setup that I showed you. So to do this, we're going to throw the same trip and cam that we did last time. For the second trip, there's two different things that you can do. The first one is on the left side of yellow, just like this, and the second one is over here, off of this little barrel on the right side of yellow. No matter what trip you throw here, the setup's gonna be played pretty similarly. Once the round starts and you hear some enemies B, you can toss one cage here and your second one over here. Off of this, you'll wanna play pretty close to yellow, and on your cam, you'll see if anyone's pushing your left or crossing behind container. If somebody pushes your trip and they hit it, you can pop your cage and easily get a frag off that. And on the other side, your cage is mostly gonna be used to delay and isolate some 1v1s. And if you want wanted to, you could even pop this cage and use it to fall back onto site. The second B setup that I have to show you is kind of a more aggressive version of the first one because we're going to be using both of our trips on site. Now this setup has two different cams that you could use and the first one is in kitchen here. I recommend using this cam if you don't have another teammate or ability to hold mid and kitchen for you because people do like trying to lurk here and since we don't have a trip, it's good to have something watching this area. But if you do have an ability or a person to watch that area for you, you can just throw the same cam on site again. Now for your trips, throw the first one along this wall so it goes all the way across like this and you can put your second trip off of this wall. Again, you want it to go past the box to make it a bit harder to break. Off of this setup, we can either play around tower or we can play at snowman. And when we hear him coming towards B, we can toss one cage here and our second one right here. Then when your enemies come out and they hit one of your trips, just pop your cage, swing out and get a free kill off that. By the way, if you don't have your cam on site, I recommend you jiggle this angle every so often so you can get some info on what's going on. Moving on to the final B setup, we'll throw our same trip in kitchen that we have been, so just like this, and then come over to green, and you can toss your cam right up here. Don't worry about this getting broken, we're just using it for info. And this is another setup that has two different trips that you can use. The first one is on the left side, against this barrier like this, and the second one is on the right side, off this wall. With this setup, no matter what side you trip, you're going to want to throw a cage on the right pre-round, and this is because if you throw it after the round starts, any enemies playing here or here are going to see you throw the cage and they'll know where you're playing from. Off the setup, we'll play in this area, and as soon as we see somebody on our cam, we can throw our second cage here. And if your enemies come up and they hit your trip, you can pop your cage and get a free frag off that. And you can use your second cage again to isolate 1v1s or even to cross off a site if you have to fall back. Now we're going to take a look at A setups. Before we do that, I wanted to mention that these walls here are pretty restrictive as to what you can do. They don't give you too much space to work with for your YouTube. So a lot of the setups that I show you on the site are going to have you throw things after the barrier goes down. This first one doesn't have that, but I just thought I should mention it. For the first A setup, come into tower and then toss your cam in this corner. Throw your first trip at the edge of this wall like this and your second one on this wall over here. Off of this setup, you can either play behind tower or up at heaven. And once you hear your enemies at A, you can toss one cage here and your second one on this side. And from here, you can kind of just sit on your cam until somebody comes up and hits your trip. And once they do, you can pop your cage, get an easy frag off that. And you can do the same thing on the other side too. For the second A setup, we're gonna throw our cam high on this wall, just like this, and then come down here and throw the same trip that we did last time. For the second trip, you're gonna wanna stand here before the barrier drops and look a little bit to the right side of this line, so about here, and then pull your trip out, and as soon as the barrier goes down, just toss it like this, and then you can play behind this. With this setup, you can play in this corner here, and as soon as it seems like your enemies are gonna come to A, 
you can toss a cage right about here. And this cage is perfect because it lets you swing off both your trips. So if somebody hits this one, you can pop your cage and get an easy kill off that. And you can do the same thing with this one. And if you wanted to, you could even use this cage to fall back behind towers safely. I have one more setup that I want to show you guys. Remember though, there's a lot of good stuff to learn on attack, so stick around for that. Alright, so for the first trip, you're going to want to throw it off of this corner here at head height and pair that with the cage. And then jump on top of screens, and as soon as the barrier goes down, you're going to want to throw your cam high on this angle like this. Throw a trip here in a cage like this. Try to be fast when you're throwing this util, because if you are fast, you'll be able to throw it before any of your enemies get to a spot where they can see you throwing it. Now to play off of this setup, you're gonna tuck yourself in this corner here and sit on your cam. Now if somebody comes up and they hit this trip, you can pop this cage and easily get a free kill off that. This cage blocks all other angles, so you don't have to worry about anything except for the target that you're shooting at. And the second trip is basically used in the same way. When somebody comes up and hits it, you can pop your cage and get a free kill off that too. Now let's move on to attack, and we'll start with the most important thing and that's how to hold flank. So for B site there's a couple things that you could do. The first thing is pretty obvious and that's just throwing one trip right here and your second one in this doorway. But there is a way to hold flank with only one trip. The only complication with it is that you have to throw it once the barriers go down which isn't really that big of a deal most of the time. So yeah my favorite way to hold flank is just by throwing it off of this angle. As always, make sure you throw it at head height so no enemies are able to crouch under it or jump over the trip. If you wanted to, you could even pair your trip with this cam to give you some mid info and an earlier heads up on anybody flanking. This cam's also cool because it lets you see into the new window. To have a good flank hold on A, unfortunately there's no tricks here, you do have to use both of your trips. You're gonna wanna throw one in this doorway, throw it like at the top of your head height, so about at this height, and that'll make it so nobody can jump over it. And throw your second trip over here in this doorway. Now if you can only afford one trip or you only want to use one for whatever reason, you could pair your single trip with this cam here to give you a little bit extra security for holding flank. Throwing your cam in this spot is good because it lets you see everything that you need to while still keeping the cam hidden. Alright so now we're going to take a look at attack cams. We'll start off with A and this site has quite a few good things that you can do. The first one that I want to show you is here. You can just throw your cam on this angle and this lets you clear anyone peeking close to you and it also lets you see into this area here. Pipes has a few different good attack cams cams that you can do. The first one is just on this angle here, and this lets you clear anyone close right or on the left side, and it also gives you some more info on site. You can also jump through your cam onto this wall, and this will clear anyone playing in these areas, or you could even throw your cam over here. Now for the B attack cams, the first one that I want to show you is just jiggle peeking this corner super fast, tossing your cam out, and this will let you clear anyone trying to play close up to you. And the other one that I want to show you is just jump throwing it up on this roof like this. This will give you good info behind container and on most of site as well. For mid attack cams, there's two different ones that I like to do. And the first one, I already showed you in the flank section, but you can just toss it here. This lets you see it into the new window and also gives you some good info on anyone trying to flank you. And the last cam that I have, I use when I'm actually going to mid my or when my team's planning on pushing mid. If you get up on this cargo container and throw your cam on this high part of the snow right here, like this, you can get a really good angle on mid, which lets you see boiler into the window, and also you can sometimes catch people coming in and out of this door here. That's my cipher guide for Ascent. Watch this video next if you want to become an even better Sentinel player.